If you think manufacturing's slowing down, you haven't been to Arizona lately. We have everything around here. A lot of aerospace. We have a lot of semiconductor industry coming in. We have a lot of gun manufacturers coming in. Phoenix in October. Sun's blazing, desert air sharp. Not exactly where you'd expect to find the front lines of North American manufacturing. But tucked inside the Methods Machine Tools open house, you can feel it. This place has been packed wall to wall with people coming to check out all the stuff going on here. This wasn't a trade show. It was a dealership floor packed shoulder to shoulder with shop owners, machinists, and people chasing the next big edge. And they weren't just here to look. They were here to see what's coming. Manufacturing isn't just holding off. It's growing, it's adapting, and it's coming back stronger than anyone gives it credit for. Machine Fest is actually our open house event that we take around the country. We do it. We have seven regional offices, so time to time we move them around. And here in Arizona, where this office has been here since 1983, we love to bring our customers and our attendees out uh, just because there's so much opportunity and so much machining and manufacturing in the greater Phoenix area. Uh, so we're having a two day event here. We had a great first day. If you guys don't know, Phoenix, Arizona, this whole area is a massive manufacturing hub. Um, there's a ton of aerospace. There's a ton of defense work, a lot of medical. I think people may either not know or underestimate just how much manufacturing is happening right here. So it's been great to get to meet people here, find out what they're working on. It's a very exciting time for manufacturing right here in Arizona. And talking about new releases, this one's so new that it literally just got released this morning. This is a Sidekick. This is actually a Methods machine developed product. So these can go with any robo drill. And what this is, is, this is kind of an entry point for automation. So maybe you're a small shop, maybe you're a medium shop. It can feel really, really intimidating to get involved with automation. You know, we talk about it a lot. This basically simplifies that and gives a good entry point for shops that want to get, you know, an extra four or five, six hours of production out of their shops. You know, if you actually have good skilled labor, which is really hard to find these days, even harder to train, the last thing you want those guys doing is spending their time reloading machines. It doesn't make any sense. This frees them up to actually use their skills. Really interesting here. The other brand new release here is the Nakamura Tomei NT Flex. This they're calling the answer to Swiss turning from Nakamura. What makes this unique is that it can kind of do the same high production, super high accuracy work that you want out of a Swiss. But on the other hand, it still has the flexibility quick setups, quick changeovers of a traditional lathe. You know, when you're talking about a Swiss, it's usually a very small envelope. Changing over tools is difficult, you know. You don't want to set up a Swiss to run 20 parts. It's not something you're going to do. With this, you can run that 10,000 part lot, or if I want to do 20 parts, it's just as effective. The other cool thing about these machines is that while they do run round sock, so you put a bar feeder on one side, you can actually produce parts that you'd probably think are better in a mill, for really high production really quickly inside a machine like this. This has nine horsepower on those driven tools, 8,000 RPM on both spindles. So it's not a main and a sub spindle. This has a left and a right. They're both the same. That means you can split the operations up between those two spindles. You're not trying to get it all done in one and just finishing on the other side. The other thing that makes Methods Machines a little bit unique out there is that not only do they distribute and you know help bring a lot of machines to market, they actually have their own line of machines. This is a Methods Machine MH320A. This is a horizontal style machine and it actually has a pallet reload station on the back. So in a machine like this, since I have my tombstone, you can do ops on both sides or in some cases even on all four sides. And while it's running, I can be reloading it from the back. People who I know who have these say that they have a really, really thick base. They're very heavy. And you know when it comes to machining, heavy is actually a good thing. Gonna get better rigidity, less chatter. Our engineering team decided to make their own machine that's gonna be better than some of the competition. And it's a super rigid machine compared to a lot of the other horizontals. Uh, it's more accurate. It has a lot stronger parts. The ways are bigger, the ways are thicker. Uh, it's all around just a much more rigid machine. What kind of industries do you see really enjoying these methods machines? We see all industries. We really? see medical, aerospace, uh, firearm industry, 
you know, all of them, the semiconductor industry, they manipulate everything about all of our machines. So their big showpiece that they're running through here at the show is a dartboard, which is really, really cool. This demo actually starts here on the MB650U. This is another methods machine. This is a five axis. But what they're doing is highlighting the aerospace kind of industry here, you know. We got an ISO grid and showing that you can pull out a lot of material really quickly with really nice finishes. You can see in here, this has a giant five axis trunnion for the size of the machine. And you can see it's doing a lot of hogging out of the back there right now. Now, of course, we couldn't come to Methods without checking out the robo drills. This is a Fanuc robo drill. I call this a foam booth machine. Very, very small footprint. Really good if you're doing little parts and you need to do a ton of them. These things have lightning fast rapids, high spindle speeds. They're really made if you've got to pump out a ton of parts in a very small space. So that dartboard we saw started on the other side. It's getting finished off here in this Fanuc robo drill. You can see this is really highlighting a lot of areas where robo drills excel. Lots and lots of very small diameter holes, really nice finishes. You can see the engraving done on here turned out beautifully. You can see the people have been examining it all day. Really cool demo piece. I haven't seen one like this before. And you can see in here, that's highlighting just how fast those holes will go in. Of course, they're not running with coolant. They're not cutting because we want to be able to see what's going on in there right now. Leaving Machine Fest, it wasn't the desert heat that stuck with me. It was the sense of urgency. Shops aren't waiting around. They're investing, pushing forward, building the future right here at home. Methods Machine Tools pulled the community together for something that felt less like an open house and more like a pulse check. And the heartbeat of manufacturing, it's loud, it's fast, and it's getting stronger every day.